in our assumptions we have a conditional. If P, then Q. And we also have Q fails. And our result, now, now let's see if we can find the result logically before I tell you what it is in the rule book here. If Parliament stays in power, then the Queen will stay in power. The Queen is out of power. Okay? Now let's say that's our those are our assumptions. We're there. The Queen is out of power, and if Parliament stays in power, the Queen will stay in power. But the Queen's out of power, so what do we know about Parliament? We know that Parliament is out of power. So, through modus tollens, we can get the elimination, the reverse order elimination. We can get a negation of the beginning term in a conditional. Modus tollens means mode that affirms by denying. So we affirm something by denying something. And, you know, you work out the linguistics of how that applies to this rule if you've got spare time. Okay, the next rule we'll look at is the hypothetical syllogism. Hypo-syllogism. Hypothetical syllogism. In this one we have our universe of discourse here. And we have if P then Q. And we have if Q then R. So you see the relation there. If P then Q and if Q then R. So they're kind of like in this waterfall chain of three terms, if P then Q then R. So if P then Q then R, and we can say hypothetical syllogism, carry out our rule. Down here on the line where we carry out our rule, we get if P then R. We can eliminate that central term, Q. Next, we have the disjunctive syllogism, DS. And here we have, in our universe of discourse, a very simple situation. Parliament remains in power, or the Queen remains in power. Parliament does not remain in power. Parliament fell. So we say one of these is going to remain in power. Somebody's going to have reins of power in the country. And by carrying out our rule down here, we know that the Queen reigns because Parliament fell. Uh, okay, that's the end of the derivation rules of SD+. So, if you go through the other rules, we've got the ampersand, conditional, tilde, disjunctive, and biconditional. Five rules plus reiteration. Five rules, basically. And in SD+, plus we only add three more rules. Modus tollens, hypothetical syllogism, and disjunctive syllogism. And those allow us to actually do away with some of the big, long, tedious things that we do with these other five rules. Now I'm going to show you the rules of replacement, or equivalence. Okay, next we have the rules of replacement. Rules of replacement. Do that on your notes, and under that we're going to have ten rules of replacement. These are just logical equivalencies. And the first one is commutation. Now, you probably know, if you know mathematics, there's probably very similar things in mathematics. And I'll just do the abbreviation. You can write out the word on your notes. Commutation. And this is an easy one. If you have P and Q, then commutation allows you to go to Q and P. Right? If you have P or Q, commutation allows you to go to Q or P. That's easy. So commutation is a very simple rule. Then we have association, which you can... Uh, abbreviate however you want. I like to do as, period. And this is P and Q and R can turn into P and Q and R. 
and uh, do the same thing if we erased all these and turn into P or Q or R. Okay, it's all logically equivalent. Next we have implication, and that's abbreviated IMPL, implication. And this is if P then Q, and this is an interesting one, P then Q can turn into not P or Q. So that's by implication. Now, that looks strange right now, but we're just getting the rules down, so don't worry too much about if it makes sense or not. The double negation, of course, is very easy. If not, not P, then you get P. Or if you have P and you need to negate it twice, you can just negate it twice just by doing it. Uh, De Morgan is an interesting one. De Morgan. D-E Morgan, M-O-R-G-A-N. And not tilde, not P and Q, can turn into not P or not Thank you.